When did okay. Northern Lion get hair? And then a big arrow pointing to Kappa face. I like it. Kappa, do you ever think Kappa looks kind of like Mikey Beswick? Yeah, I never, absolutely. never thought All right, that. Just making sure. One day, looks like LMB. One day you'll know, Nick. Name of LMB. <laughs> That's, uh, what were we calling him? Something Mike Bithel? You were saying Little Mike Bithel. I don't think I said Little. <laughs> That's not who it <laughs> is, though. Lieutenant um, Mike Bithel? Name or Leet Mike Bithel? He yeah. prefers Bit Hell. I know. All right, Dude so made his own last name. The question is, name a professional <laughs> sports team in New York. I said the New York Yankees. That's a good one. There are three answers left on the board. I can only assume that we'll this. be able to solve this. Jets, I got Giants. Giants. Okay, and Giants. a professional sports team in New York, Josh. Giants. No! <laughs> you just said the Jets or the Rangers. Giants the was number two. I guarantee that if there's only four sports teams on the board, Islanders is not going to be one of them. <laughs> Nick, name a professional sports team in New York. I'm not saying Islanders. Uh, I'm going to say Yankees. Yankees is number one. <laughs> eh, eh. What? Eh, eh. Did they say that already? Yes. Mets? Yeah. All right. Was that a good answer? Mets is an X. What? No, it's the Jets. There. This is obviously the Jets. I'm going to type the Jets. How could it not be the Mets? Because it's the Jets. Okay, the Jets is on there. Okay, one more professional sports team in New York, Let's Josh. Rangers. Mm -hmm. See, Mets. It's Rangers? Yeah. All right. See if it's up there. That's an X. Mets, Mets, Mets. Okay. We already Mets. said it's not the Mets. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Still All not right. the Mets. No Nick, one likes the Mets. name a professional sports team in New York. What's left? The Cubs. The Knicks. Yeah, do the Knicks. Yeah, okay, the Knicks were number four. Because it's my name. Exactly. It's got a K in front of it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> Why Joshua? Uh, okay. Name something, Name something. This is for Josh. You can often hear when it's very quiet in church. We surveyed 100 people. Uh, coughing? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you have an answer for us? Is that Ekins? Yeah. Is there an Ekins in here? Ekins. By the way, coughing was number one. Hmm. Nick, have you noticed that the Grandma's Boy uh, argument continues to rage? Yeah, it's a great movie, so it's worth fighting for. <laughs> it, even on an LSS Circle Jerk, it's still going. Good. Name we'll something win. you can often hear when it's very quiet in church, Nick. Uh, like muttering. All right, yeah. Is, Is that a reasonable thing to ask? Well, There's muttering going I, on. I, I guess. I said talking, and talking was number three. What's your talking answer? slash praying, which basically is the same thing. <laughs> um, I want to say it, but yeah. I'm gonna say breathing. <laughs> It's there. Yeah. Okay, breathing was an X. I'm not trying to Nobody make anybody feel bad. Church. I've been to church What's occasionally. I'm not religious, but there's some loud breathers in church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Josh, name something you can often hear when it's very quiet in church. Flatulence. Yeah, okay. Farting. What does the survey say? Farting was an X. Oh shit, I fart all the time. I like this. You don't let people hear, though. Yesterday, there was like a... <laughs> <laughs> Impulsive shot is perfectly encapsulated yesterday's stream. He says grandma's boy sucks, but eating a burger with a knife and fork is kind of weird. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. all. If you missed yesterday, that's it. That's what we did. Nick, name something you can often hear when it's very quiet in church. Pages turning. I'll try it. Maybe paper rustling would have been better. <laughs> You're getting too descriptive. If you have to get like two big words for Family Feud, then it's too late. <laughs> right. We're already lost. Did we lose? Uh, well, not technically yet, but what do you think? probably. That was an X, though. Yeah, correct. Yeah, gonna give it to you early. Yeah, X is gonna get... How crazy is it... Snoring was number five, by the way. That's what we lost on, but... Really? How crazy is it that we live in a world where DMX is going to celebrity box George Zimmerman? <laughs> what? That's badass. Yeah. I mean, that happens? That's going to happen, yes. There's gonna be a, a pay-per-view boxing match between... Oh, shit. DMX and George Zimmer. Let's cast them. Did they like? Do they hate each other or something? Or? Well, I mean, there's I think a reason for some obvious antagonism. Yeah, let's like not get into that. that yes, exactly. I don't want to make this political. I'm just saying how absurd is it that that can happen? Wait, the guy from the warehouse? No, the, the <laughs> that's Zimmer. The murder <laughs> trial man. Oh, that's George Zimmer. Oh. Oh, apparently that they canceled that. Oh. Fuck. 
How could you do this to me? Exactly. Nick, name something yeah. you have more of now than you did 10 years ago. More of now YouTube subscribers. That's very true. Um... College degrees. <laughs> For some reason, that that question struck me as very hard to answer. I don't. Know. I just I just went with money, and money was number one. All right, good. And after that, I'm gonna say kids. Experience. Kids was number five. All right, Josh, what are you gonna say? Experience. Experience. Okay. Like what kind of experience? No, nope, that's in the an X. bedroom. It's an X. Yeah, more 69 time. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that's what experience is. Mm -hmm. You have more hours of 69 under your belt. Yeah. Yeah, they should break that on like on Steam somewhere. <laughs> Nick, name something you have more of now than you did 10 years ago. Possessions. Stuff, yeah. Hope it's there. Stuff is an X. Clothes. I think it should have been on there. That's a possession. I win. <laughs> Clothes isn't on there either yet. Clothing. I know I'm just gonna say like mass. Got really hidden the gym. Jim Belushi. Yeah, I've been bulking up. Jim Belushi's barbecue hut. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't Does see he that have coming. one? I don't know. Jim Belushi strikes me as the kind of guy who would have like a blues restaurant slash bar slash music venue. Answer, I can see blues that too. Blues Brothers. Well, I mean, sort of. Uh, weight was on there, by the way. But Josh, name something you have more of now than you did ten years ago. What did I just say? Clothes. Jim Belushi. Yeah. Clothes. All right, I typed clothes. Try it again. Weird. Wisdom was number four. What? What do you think? That was really more weird. Harry Potter movies. Wait, really... clothes turns into wisdom. Well, it, it didn't turn into it in the game, but inside of my head, it did. Oh. And it was right. Yeah. But now I'll type clothes. There. Shit, man, yeah. clothes is number two. Huh. We made it, we did it. I told you. Clothes are a possession, you know. <laughs> yeah, a possession's pretty broad. Yeah, you just say, what do you have more of now than you did years ago? Matter. Stuff. Atoms. Right. It's, you got more stuff. Yeah, we, we won. That was good. That Name something that women like to hold. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't know what the what do you say here? I don't even understand this question. Name something that women like to hold. Hold me, Northern Lion. They like to hold hands. Hold me. They like to hold. Hold me closer, Northern Lion. They like to hold money. I don't know. They like to hold jewelry. Let me be part of your pride. <laughs> All right, I said <laughs> I said hands, and it wasn't right. Give a better answer. Women don't like to hold hands. The more you know. Oh, oh, babies what is a really good answer. Sandwiches? I mean, it comes Puppies. across as really sexist. Oh, I didn't mean that. I like to hold sandwiches, too. Yeah, I love sandwiches. That's why I said it. I had a I'll sandwich. hold sandwiches any day. I had a sandwich for uh, lunch, actually. What kind? It was a grilled cheese. Oh, what would you put on it? It was just marble. What's your answer? What? Mar marble cheese. Let's hope it's there. Oh. And then marble loaf. Shall I'll give you a marble loaf? Do you guys I have, you meant, do you have marble don't. cheese in the United States of America? Is that like the white and... Just in any cheese that has mold together? on it is basically... No. No. Oh, they beat us. Baby, money, <laughs> spouse, of pet. All they want, hold pet. <laughs> I really thought hands would be on there, but... um. Dude, Handbag. This is a really sweet drawing. Of Steve Ballmer? Yeah. All right. Why don't you draw Shrek sometime? Because Steve Ballmer is way more important. I, oh, I, I know that. I think I told you guys this once, but whenever I'm like eating something, if I don't have anything else to do, I'll just look up whatever I'm eating on Wikipedia, and then I'm like, you, oh. You you look up a lot on Wikipedia, dude. I constantly just take in more information, and I looked up marble cheese today. It has like the smallest Wikipedia article I've ever seen. It's like two lines. That shit. I, well, I don't know. There's got to be. I, I think it's more of a Canadian thing than an American thing, I guess. But it's very popular in Canada. Probably like the third most popular cheese, if I had to guess. Behind what? Cheddar and mozzarella, in all likelihood. Provolone. Nah, provolone. That's like a maybe a top ten, top twelve. I love provolone. Provolone wow. on a lot is really good. Mm. Don't disrespect provolone. I'm not disrespecting provolone. I'm just saying I don't think it's as respected here as maybe it is over there. 
By the so way, disrespectful. Here's another question for you, if you're ready. I'm always ready. Bear with Abby, I'm not trying to crash the page for Marble Cheese. I'm just trying to say, there's not as much information there as I wanted there to be. I didn't learn anything about it, except that... Bear's in chat? A lot of people think that Marble Cheese is cheddar plus mozzarella, but it's actually just two different colors of cheddar. There you go. Hmm. Weird. Is it there? There it is! Josh, it why are you so alive? I mean, you are so alive, man. You are alive. <laughs> Josh, what does that even mean? Name something a woman wears at work she'd take off when she gets home. Her bra. I think that's definitely a real answer. That's an X. Bullshit! There's four answers on the board remaining. Shoes and suit, but bra's not on there. Huh. Oh my god, uh... NL, you're right about the wiki article. I know! There's nothing about marble cheese, it's an enigma! Nick, name something a woman wears at work she takes off when she gets home. Jacket. I already said suit. But jacket might be. Coat. Okay, yeah. Jacket slash coat, number four. Yeah, I win. That's not part of the suit. Okay, socks. Um, Could hmm. Go socks. socks. Be a different kind of jacket. Like pantyhose? Go socks. Just panties. No, you don't want to be too... You don't pantyhose wanna... is number two. Oh, bologna you then. You suck on my pantyhose. Who? <laughs> you wear okay. pantyhose? Maybe sometimes. How would you know? Josh, name something you a woman wears at work she'd take off when she gets home. Uh, like a hair, like a hair bun. Hair clips. Hair clips. Sure. Someone in chat said, my girl takes that off when she gets home, because she about to get on this dong. Gay. Whoa. Donkey. Oh, I get it now. I thought you were actually just uttering a pejorative, but... Uh, by the way, that was not on there. But, oh, Nick, name something a woman wears at work she'd take off when she gets home. Makeup. Oh! Survey says. That was an X, but I thought that was a really good answer. God damn it. Yeah, okay, is this a straw poll for cheeses? <laughs> Who is the best? <laughs> Robin Williams, Steve Buscemi, Northern Lion, Elucidator and Spyro, or Lou Bega with two Gs? I voted for Lou. I voted for Lou Bega, and it said, if you vote for this, you are pure scum. And it's the number one. <laughs> it's gotta be. All right, Spyro, I'm gonna break chat for a second. We're gonna do a cheese poll. Mm -hmm. So is cheddar is one. Why don't you ever just use straw poll? Mozzarella. Marble. What other cheeses should I add to this poll? Swiss. <laughs> I love Swiss. Swiss is my favorite cheese. Really? Ew. That surprises yes. me. Oh, 100%. Munster. Okay. I'm gonna add like a Monterey Jack. A monster monster. I'm just gonna put oh. Jack. Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack. Okay. Of Pepper Jack. Maybe I'll put like a, a Brie in there. Put put um Halloumi. I'm not gonna put Halloumi in there. You Can you do the tongue? Dude, you ever fry up halloumi? It's I've never so I've good. never had fried halloumi. Oh my Josh. god, dude, you're missing out. Okay. I've opened up the Moobot pole. I'm sorry, Spyro. There's all your options there. Just to reiterate, all you gotta do is type exclamation point vote and then your favorite kind of cheese. Your options are provolone, gouda, mozzarella, cheddar, blue, munster, pepper jack. I didn't put Havarti on the poll. God Nobody damn it. Nobody cares about Havarti. Havarti's a del Oh my god. Okay, again, the choices. Blue, munster, pepper jack, Monterey jack, Limburger. Marble, Swiss, Brie, Provolone, Gouda, Mozzarella, Cheddar. You forgot Halloumi. I didn't put Halloumi on out of, yeah. out of malice. I think that's a I real voted thing. Cloud Penis. That's, the invalid vote is currently number two right now. So, <laughs> you've, done a, you've done a great service. I love doing this because then when I look at the Twitch VOD to export it, yeah. the chat activity, which is based on like a relative graph, looks mm -hmm. really low, and then there's one <laughs> enormous, like incredibly straight <laughs> vertical spike <laughs> upwards. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, that's like, <laughs> that's the halfway part. Mm. All right, by the way, name something a woman wears at work that she take off when she gets home. Badge slash ID was the one we lost on there, unfortunately. Oh. And jewelry what? was number six. I really thought I had a good answer. What, you, what was yours again? It was... The makeup one. Oh, yeah, I agree. Makeup. I thought that was a good answer as well. It's round two. This is for you, Josh. Mm. Name the gift you've gotten from your spouse that you cherish the most. 
surveyed 100 people. Top six answers are on the board. Watch. I can wait. A watch. Really? Is a watch? I wore this watch in my ass. <laughs> Watch was number four. How about that answer? It's better than saying like anal or something. Well, yeah, that's definitely better than saying anal. You're right. Ring was number one, and they passed it to us. Wish they didn't. I agree. Your answer? Nick, name the gift you've gotten from your spouse that you cherish the most. Uh. uh... <laughs> Steve Palmer. This is a tough question. I don't really know a good one. Let's say, uh, say I'm a yuppie, say car. No, oh, that's a good point. You are a yuppie. This guy with his horseradish halibut eating his pizza with a knife and I fork. That. Don't accuse me of that second one, please. <laughs> I'm going to say a child, even though it's fucked up. Car wasn't on oh, there. Oh, yeah. Child's on there. Car wasn't on there, though. What do you think, Josh? Name the gift you've gotten from your spouse that you cherish the most. Is Jewelry? That's uh, already on there. Um, a house. Oh, okay, yeah. How about that answer? Love. I love when um, okay. you know, my spouse try buys me a house. So try love. Spouse house. I didn't try love. I said house. Can't buy me love, but you sure as hell could try. My love don't cost a thing. Mine's pretty expensive. All right. That's a thirty-five thousand dollar down payment. Name yeah. the gift you've gotten from your spouse <laughs> that you cherish the most. Fried halloumi with How about just card? How about a card? Really? Treasure. It could be a really sweet card. The card was an X. What, like a poem. What is wrong with you? It could be the what gift you, of music. If you got her, like, her own bathroom. What? Do you think? what? Yeah, so you she got her own to, bathroom, so you don't have to... So you don't have to smell it up when you go in there. The Guys, you're not going to like this. Yeah? What? Number five was their heart. I said Gross. love. You did, but you also said house before that. Yeah, I did. My heart's for pumping blood. <laughs> what? Don't give me that stuff. Number three was vacation. Number f That's all I ever wanted. Number six was shoes. <laughs> That's how you got to get away. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at our cheese pull. I'm going to refresh here. <laughs> you can look at my cheese pull. <laughs> it's pretty gross. <laughs> all right. Cheese pull. Said it. I'm going to try to do this in order of... Uh, in order of... You know, significance. In last place, Lindberger with yeah, zero point eight percent, followed zero, by yeah. uh, Marble and uh, Monterey Jack with two hundred point four percent each. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bree and Blue at around three point five percent each. Blue kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. Blue's horrible. I really like Bree though. Bree's all right. Provolone at six percent. It's pretty good. Swiss at five and a half percent. That's yeah. a little low for my taste. Gouda right. at seven. Not good. It was pretty good. Good enough. Munster was three and a half, by the way. As well. uh, Sorry. Yeah, I like uh, Munster. Mozzarella, thirteen point five percent. Not bad. Invalid vote, sixteen point one percent. And cheddar, twenty three point five percent. What about pepper jack? Pepper jack, twelve point three percent. Sorry. It was Wait. it was a popular one. It was the number three cheese. Yeah, that's a good one. And the pepper jacks. Wait, I, isn't I put pepper, pepper jack? jack on anything. Isn't pepper jack just another type of cheese? Excuse with me? pepper stuff in it, it's like Monterey Jack with uh, hot peppers in it or something. Yeah, yeah, that it's like it's Monterey Jack. Why are you putting it in its own category? Because it's a different taste to a regular Monterey Jack, Nick. Yeah, Nick. It's it's so like it's, YouTube. It's, it's a transformative work when you put the chili peppers in it. But it's like so every type of context that I can put a cheese in changes so the cheese intrinsically. Is um, like you have like a pepper, but then you can also have like a stuffed pepper. Okay, wait. This is important. I'm looking at the Marble Cheese Wikipedia article now. Yeah. Of course you are. It says, Northern Lion Marble Cheese is a combination of orange and white Dark Souls 2. <laughs> a common incorrect assumption is that it is a combination of Donkey and Shunky. Donkey Hearthstone Puppies cheeses Guys. when it is, in fact, entirely Donkey Cheddar Cheese. We, we should not be messing with wikis. Don't do that. Also, thank you for putting the t-shirt link in there, but don't <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> oh my god. I have no control over that <laughs> Wikipedia admins, okay? I have no control over that. Let's continue playing also, the Family Feud, though. 
You're gonna get. You got Mike Bithell's page banned from Twitter. That's not cool. We can not today, it. I hope. But it's way less cool to get Marble Cheese banned from Twitter, which hasn't done anything Wikipedia, wrong. Wikipedia, stop saying Twitter, you scum. Shut it all down. No one's getting banned from Twitter here. I'm sorry, I meant Wikipedia. This a, that's a far cry. Nick! From. Excuse me. Name something people seem to need more of than other people. Attention. Yeah. You said this guy says developers, right? Yeah, you see Bomber goes like, developers, 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 developers. Try to give a better answer Is he a developer? No, nah, I think he just hired developers. That was their strategy. Oh. What does the survey By the way, attention was number three. It was pretty good. Money was number one. Money. <laughs> Money. As long as it ends in an A. That's exactly, good yes. Your answer? <clears throat> well, my donkey's done. Is it there? You, you drew donkey. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this donkey's done. I'm pretty happy with you, Nick. Thanks. Just wanted to say something positive for once. Wow! Holy shit! Stop the presses, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You said something nice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a subscriber. No, I was, just, I was surprised at you. Mm. I was I was a surprised her. Barely know her. We're gonna lose this, I think. That's all right. Clothes. Clothes was on there? I've got clothes. In different area clothes. In their area clothes. No. Area clothes. Is it there? Cars. Some no people need more cars than others. What is this? We asked 100 of Jay Leno's assistants? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Petroleum. Excuse me? Harry Potter still. Food. Oh, they got 302 points! Well, uh, what we're gonna do then, Family Feud, that was a fun time. Uh, we're gonna go to a quick ad break. When we come back, Splunky Daily Challenge. Are the, when we come back, we'll look at the drawings, too. All right. I'm gonna save this one. Prior to that, three minutes of ads. So stick around. Thanks for All joining right. us so far, and uh, we'll be back with some Spelunky in three minutes. Three All minutes. Right. Three minutes of I'm mad because you bads. Spelunky. Spelunky. <laughs> I want to be Spelunky. I want to get a granola bar, so I'll be right back. What kind of granola bar? Take a guess. Almond. Almond. Yes. <laughs> Raw almond. Steve it's always almond. almond with this guy. And I tweet my donkey. There we go. Hmm. It's twatting. It's tweeted. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Brack that. Brack the man. Brack the man tweeted. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it is pretty good. You see the Steve Bomber? Yep. Looks like dad from Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. Dang, that's a good donkey. Thank you. Looks like donkey from Shrek. Oh, yeah, that, that guy looks pretty good, actually. He looks like the dad nice, from Everybody Loves Raymond. Nice like painterly dad. quality. He looks like the dad from Everybody Loves Raymond. Really does look like the dad from Everybody Loves Raymond. I made the head more circular when I guess I should have went oval. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it the way it is. Good shading yeah. on the jaw. Thanks, man. Yeah, I agree. I think your donkey is pretty good, man. Thanks. It started out looking really crazy and creepy, and then it got a little better as we went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing that really matters the most is the dot of white on the eye. That makes all the difference. So if you ever looking, if you're looking to take your art game and MS Paint to the next level, just put that little dot on the eye. You'll be glad you did. Mm. Wow! Every goddamn game in Steam needs to update. Get out of here, Blunks. Developers, developers, developers. 
How many questions are there? Five questions. I pretend that was Northern Line. Where do you think? Okay, you eat almond. Ramen. Or... You ever had ramen? Was... No, I don't know what that is. My uh. It's a Japanese soda with a marble in it. Why is there a marble in one? Isn't that like a choking That's... hazard? No, it doesn't. Well, actually, in a way, it kind of is. But uh, what happens like a... is, to break the seal on the top, you have to push down really hard with this little plastic nub, and it breaks the seal, which has a marble in the top, which is what's holding the pressure in. And then when you push it in, it goes clunk, and then it gets really carbonated because the air hits it. I wasn't listening. That's all right. Uh, there's a marble in it? Yeah, there's a marble. the marble in your soda? The, the marble pushes into the soda... Uh, it's it's like a sealing mechanism. My chat probably knows what I'm talking about. It's like Fuck uh, your ads, Nick. Oh, maybe they don't actually. That's what they that's what they say. Hi Josie. Hi Josie. Hello. Hi. Do you know about ramen? What is it? Ever heard of that? It's a, a Japanese soda with a marble in the top, mm, and you push mm -hmm. it through to start. You know about this? I Good. Do, Josh yeah. had no idea what I was talking. about. I have about. no idea what you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really all there is to it. You push the marble through the top, and then it gets carbonated because the air hits. It's like a lemon, it. lemon soda type thing. I think there's a few flavors, it. but yeah, most of them are a little bit fruity. Yeah. We go to this uh, izakaya restaurant sometimes, and they have like a cocktail based on ramune. Halume. Is, have I been saying it wrong? Is it wrong? I don't know what it is. Mm. Ramune, ramune. I know. I know what you're getting at, though. Okay. Anyway. Well, you know what I'm getting at. And I drew the uh, the dad from Everybody Loves Ramune. <laughs> Change your name. <laughs> All right, I have closed the poll and I'm changing my name. I'm playing some Spelunky or something. Sorry, we didn't recognize that game. Um, no, I'm pretty sure you do. All right, there it is. I'd really like to like do well at the daily today. Me too. Me too. I haven't played a lot of this game lately, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a lot of flavors. Holy shit. Original was lemon lime, so alright, you're pretty on with that. There's banana, blueberry, blueberry, uh, blue Hawaii, bubblegum, cherry, cola, curry, disco, dance, grape, green apple, kimchi flavor. Oh my god, that's gotta be weird. Wait. Kiwi, what? Start at this top, there's like a weird... Okay. It sounds like you're singing that uh, Savage Garden song. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need, I need you, but you, I, ooh, I've got to find out, I've got I've to gotta find, find out. <laughs> I got it. Mm -hmm. Nick, I had no idea there were people that didn't like Grandma's Boy until I watched the Right, me too. I thought everyone was on the same page, but find out the world's real weird. It's a really bad movie. It's a terrible movie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't believe you. It's a really bad movie. No. What I will say is, uh, do you want to start the daily? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. I'm going down the rope. Uh, I'm going. Oh down shit! The rope. You're way ahead of me. Well, I mean, I know. I really. Oh, I threw a bomb by accident. Do you want to know why I threw a bomb by accident? Because you, uh, you were you playing Dark B. Souls. I press B because I've been playing you're Dark Souls. Dark Hurry Souls. down the ladder. <laughs> Nick is actually right. That wow. I I thought that I would hold B to sprints because I've been playing so much Dark Souls 2. No, it's right trigger. I beat Dark Souls 2. You did? That's really exciting. Stop doing that. Nick and I are, are at the final boss. Yeah. I had to wait for you guys for like two Pretty. days. Oh, I'm Pretty sorry. Long. I was busy like recording videos for my livelihood. Wait, oh, you yeah. did that too though. Yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> I I recorded <laughs> a lot of them though. <laughs> what do you got coming up? You know, lots of Dark Souls. No. Nah. Oh really? What's yeah. that game about? Dark Souls. Are you building? You building backlog? You got some trips coming up though, right? Yeah, hopefully. It's, we got a passport thing that's got to work itself out, but hopefully it does. It's the problem with like doing a decent amount of like cross-border travel is that like February was the only month where I wasn't going to the U.S. I think. So wow. that's when I got my passport application done. But then they just sent me a letter like two days ago, and they're like, well, there's a little bit of a problem with it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Thanks for getting back to me in a timely fashion. What well, was uh, the problem? Apparently, I couldn't use Kate as a reference because we're technically family, even though she was a reference for me last time. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Inconsistencies, I understand. Yeah. Did I was you mostly get LMB? Just... No, I got, I got somebody else. Don't worry about it. Do I know? 
Why does it matter if you know who my? Just, I'm just always interested. I like to no, know. you don't. LMB know them. stands okay. for left mouse button. That's what it is. <laughs> you don't know them, but anyway, yeah, I should be at GDC next week. Hopefully, the game developer. That'd be exciting if you go. Yeah, it would be. I'm, I'm giving a talk. Really? Wow. Are you gonna talk about me? No, I'm not gonna talk about you. You gonna say, "Hey, I know this cool guy. His name is Josh." Let's totally talk about Josh. Specifically, I'm not gonna talk about time. Josh, but I will talk about Nick. Thanks. That's such bullshit. <laughs> that would actually be fantastic. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't need to talk about me. I don't talk about Nick. I want you to only talk about Nick. Let's talk about Nick, baby. Let's talk That's... about Rockley. Let's talk wow. about that all the well... indie games he plays that are indie. Let's talk about Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Nick. It's Nick? This is making me feel awkward now. <laughs> You're making me horny. Ah! Oh, so you turned on Fox mode right there. Yeah, I miss that guy. Whatever happened to him? He's in Amsterdam. Why is he doing? How long is he in there for? I don't know. His job makes infinite money, so he just like that guy just stays as long as he wants to stay. That's cool. I wish I was Fox neat. sometimes. Yeah, he could probably get you a job working at his company. I, you, you think know, so? I don't know. Probably not, but mm. you know, you should ask him. That'd anyway be weird. Things uncomfortable. Imagine we all just quit YouTube and just all joined a power company one month. I would do it. Just hang out with Fox Man all day? Absolutely. Hang out there. It'd be a lot of fun. I don't I don't think it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I think it would. I think it would. I think it really would. It'd be weird living in like somewhere else in the US. What do you mean? Again. I like the US. Well, other hey, than I don't the US. Live in Amsterdam, Canada. Not he doesn't today. live in Amsterdam, he's just going there for like a couple of weeks. Yeah, but I don't know if I could live in Canada. Why not? It's just the same I freaking could. thing as the US. That's what everyone keeps saying, but I don't believe them. It's a little bit different. It's yeah, it's exactly. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it's uh, like the, one of those like parallel dimension worlds where it's basically exactly the same, but there's like one thing that's changed and you'll never figure it out. Yeah, you know, I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. I think it's fine. I'll never figure it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've, really, I've, the change I've, is just that there's more gravy fries, which is totally cool with we me. We don't call them fucking gravy fries. You know, I know, right? but it's what they are. <laughs> That's not what they are. They have cheese curd. Wait, yeah. What do you call them? Poutine gravy fries. That's not great. It's Why not is my okay. person? Not I mean, about? I didn't mean it. I just was referring to them uh, colloquially. Don't worry about that's it. That's not a colloquial. Colloquially, you say poutine. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's what you would say. Yeah, I I know. You gotta work on your Canada. <laughs> you're not welcome here anymore, Nick. <laughs> Damn it. Josh, you're still allowed. <laughs> if, you, if you can get over I'm the so incredible cultural differences between <laughs> Canada and the U.S. <laughs> I'm just culturally insensitive. You should. Oh, oh I guess I got killed already. I uh, shit, man. Died. Stop pissing off shopkeepers and you don't die. I'm third in the world right now, so I don't even care. Just load up that mod and <laughs> play it again. The fucking shopkeeper. You know, it doesn't happen very often. That time it did. The shopkeeper jumped up all the way from the bottom, and then he's here. Now he's here. Yeah, and here was like right next to me. Did he die? Yes. It's a very I unlikely really situation, I, basically. I don't understand why the sound the Matic makes is like a crunching apple sound Excuse every me? time you pick it up. Donger Schlonger McLonger has just subscribed. That's a good one. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Well, I mean, it's easy to be disheartened because I died, but also remember that the, the Titans. Time... Yeah, remember the Titans as well. But David was... Faison. Remember Donald, the Titanfall. Donald Faison. Yeah, remember Donald. Titanfall? We should play some of that, but. Set phasers to Faison. You get that on a shirt and sell it. I played Hawken today on my channel. Yeah, I like Hawken. Are you in a week of Hawken? Uh, I started doing a week of Gigantic Army. Yeah. And I was like, I don't feel like beating this game in like one sitting, so I just stopped. Oh. And then I didn't realize I had to start from the beginning again. I was like, that's dumb. Let me just go and play Hawken. This is like a week of mechs now. <laughs> so, I was wondering what happened to your yeah. your Gigantic Army because it seemed like the week ended faster than I expected it to. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was all three days. <laughs> but now um, it's a week of mech games, so it's all good. You can watch cool. me play Hawken. What are you Hawken? Like Hawken. Hawken's yeah. a fun game. Yeah, Hawken's it's all right. Northern Lion doesn't like Hawken. It's okay. I think it's worse than Titanfall, though. I don't have Titanfall. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, Hawken's also free, so there is that. Yeah. We could have Hawken any day we want. It's yeah, that, so I chose to have Hawken yesterday. Oh, that day. That's fine. Oh, I died. Oh, yeah. Shopkeeper? Spikes? Wow. Anybody right. find the key before you died? Yeah. And then I fell on spikes. Mind passing on where it might be? 
It's to the right of level fucker. four. Yeah, I know. I got the chest, but I just don't see the key anywhere. Oh, you passed it then. Shit. So All right. You, if you start level four and you go directly to the right, it's at the top. All right. Directly to the right at the... <laughs> it's like uh... Dark Souls uh, navigation again. Oh, I see Oh, my it. God. Also, see, look. Erlan the Wizard. Thank you very much for that subscription. Up down to the I'm side. Erlan! It's like... I will... I'm gonna be a wizard. It's like Merlin, but not you really. You with my... Wizardry. Apparently, Twitch is having oh. some real problems handling the stream right now. That's, don't worry about Someone, it. Yes, they have the F5 and stuff. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. I think I'm going to reroll my uh, Dark Souls 2 LP character to be a wizard. <laughs> really? Don't. Yeah, I'm not even sucks. kidding. Like, I bet it sucks, but I want to see if I can do it. Um, okay. What, what's the problem with your strength character? There's not really a problem. I just think that it's more interesting to do something different, I guess. You're, you're playing with fire, Nick. So you're going to start over again? Yeah, well, I only got through, like, four episodes. I was only, like, at the first boss. I didn't even get that far, actually. I was, like, at the bonfire before the boss. What? Hmm. Yeah, I was doing terrible, like I told you. I was, like, totally just lost any kind of semblance of logic or skill that I had from playing it. I've had to scrap a couple of recordings because of dying, but I'm getting some good momentum. You scrap a whole recording when you die? Not when I die once. That would just be ridiculous. But if I die, oh, like, four times in the first seven minutes, then I'm just like, all right, let's just go back to the bonfire and start yeah, I just laugh about it and be like, hey, guys, how do you like that loading screen? My number one thing is that I hate editing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would rather just take, like, seven minutes to redo something than, than risk editing. Risk of rain. Yeah. Yeah, that's a video game. I've never heard of it. Uh, yeah, you have. Yeah. Josh, when did you become, like, good at video games? You're actually, you're developing... Not a a reputation for it, which is funny. What are you talking about? You are developing a reputation funny. for it. <laughs> what, what, in what land am I getting a reputation for being good at anything? The land of streaming. People are talking about Northern it. Northern land. <laughs> Who's talking about it? People are talking about it. No, they're not. You know, people they talk. really are. People don't talk. People talk, Josh. I'm only good when I play like, against you. Yeah. I must say, and that's only in some deep. things. That's only in some things. And I think we only point it out because it's fun. But like, if you beat me, it's like no big deal, right? But like if An I win, oh my like, god, Angela, these Sandra, fucking shopkeepers are Rita. like, they all have spring shoes now. You know they're getting sweeter. Don't quote Lou begging me right now, Nick. I'm not in the mood for it. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right. He's oh right. wow, I just wandered directly into the way that boomerang serves me right. But seriously, you you have this reputation for being good at video games now, Josh. Yeah, stop it. I don't think I do. You're like the new Athene. You beat all of the shit that we were doing in Dark Souls by like two days. Well, I just probably spent more time. I think that is definitely true. I spent all the time I had. How did you still have well, more time than Well, that's because you're me? a freaking farmer when you play the game. It takes yeah, forever. It, yeah, that's true, actually. Like I, I you are going to say I live an agrarian life for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, uh... No, I spend... I spend... Uh, not as much time farming as Nick, but probably more than I don't really farm. I just I get I get mad at like enemies in my way, so I just want to clear them, them out sometimes. forever. Yeah, it, it happens a few places, but a lot of times I'll do I'll use a uh, lion strat, and yeah. it works. The whole end of the game, that's what I had to do. Well, weirdly enough, oh, lion strat, strat doesn't work for the end of the game. Oh no, I think I tried that's, anyway. Uh, there's there's one. Let's area stop talking can. about the end of the game now. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm about to beat the game, and I think my total hours are like 28 or something like that. That's that's in, that's good. That, that's pretty crazy. 28. Yeah, it might it might be approaching 30 after last night, but it's not. It's not I like, like 65. double that. I know yeah. you're double that, and it blows my freaking mind every time I think about it. I got like 40 Stop thinking about it. I, I spent a lot of time that is in that save, like just idling though. Yeah, I guess that's true too. But it's not like, that many hours. Yeah. That didn't work. I got killed. Um, anyway. Blink, blink. What I was going to say, though, is that um, it, it also blows my mind when you tell me what level you are. Because I'm like, how do you even get to that level? Oh, yeah. I'm like <laughs> level 140-something. Yeah, I'm, I'm just under 100, I think. I think I beat it at like <laughs> around like 120. Um, but now I'm like Josh level gets it. I kind of don't get it. I don't know. I just haven't I was, gotten. I was many... trying to get a certain weapon, so I had to get a shit ton of levels in some stat that I didn't have any levels in. Oh my god. Okay, I'm 
ending the adventure here. That's it? Are you I'm, throwing? I'm, start, I'm starting again because I'm doing so poorly in Spelunky, but anyway. I'm not saying the game is 30 hours long. I'm saying that with lion strats, you could beat it in 30 hours. My 30 yeah. hours seems to be very much atypical. I'm pretty sure you could probably beat it in like one hour. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, if you're really, really good at Dark Souls 1, you beat it in like an hour and a half, right? So, mm. it's just the, the strategy of the way that I play the game allows me to do it faster. But I probably die just as much. I just spend a lot less time, like, kiting a single enemy and then beating the shit out of them, and then kiting another enemy and beating the shit out of them. Yeah. It's it's less safe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but a lot less tedious. Yeah, that's my hypothesis anyway. Yeah, Fuck IGN, sense. they're lying pieces of shit. <laughs> um, what did IGN say? They said it was 60 hours long. Most it of the people be. I've talked to have said 60 hours is fairly reasonable, so... Yeah, it could be. Depends on what you do. Yeah, it depends how you want to play the game. You died, Nick. <laughs> yeah. What or did you do, just... Nick? Yeah. I bounced in a really silly way that I had absolutely no idea that I even could die in, and then I just died. All right. Oh, oh I'm out. I made it to like jungle two or three, something like that. <clears throat> I got comboed. I'm number two in the world, though. There you go. Yeah. You beat me by one. No, you're forty eighth. Oh, I was number three for you're about a second when I looked at it. Some people play this game other than you, Norline. <laughs> do another, uh, do another challenge or adventure with me, friends. Okay, I am. We still have forty-six minutes left. That's crazy. <laughs> Are we gonna play Hawken? We're not gonna play Hawken. Yeah, Good. I don't, I don't really want to play Hawken on the stream either. I don't, I don't actually have it either. I mean, it's free. You just download it. I don't have it. Okay, yeah. sure. I've given you the answer, but if you choose to ignore that, then that's okay. Well, I mean, I'd have to download it, which takes that's, a while. Yeah. Well, we're not going to play it live on the stream. It's probably like 40 gigs. Yeah, we shouldn't play it live on the stream. At least not today. Hawkins one of those games where, like, for like three years, that was always like a go-to karma farm on Reddit. It was always like... Right. Tired of the way that AAA games bend your mom over and fuck her in front of you? Check out wow. this indie game with a AAA sensibility, and then people will be like, "Oh fuck, I've done <laughs> graphics like this and mechs, and oh my god!" And then when it came out, people were like, "Well, the mechs move like kind of slowly," I, uh, and then I yeah. just kind of fell all that off hype the, out the window. Fell off the radar, yeah. I, don't know. I still like it. It's like it's like it's good. It's not fast, fast, but it's definitely like arcadey. Yeah, that that, game. I don't know. I thought I played it a little bit. I thought it was kind of fine. Yeah, but I kind it's of. It's really funny it. that like Titanfall happened to come out like basically at the exact well, same time. Well, not even because the people who have been making Hawk and Fall have been working on it for like. Hawk and Fall. Hawk and Fall. The people who have been working who, on uh, Hawk and have been working on it for like eight yeah. or nine years or something like that. So I, I sympathize with the fact that it takes hard work to make a game, but also like. It's not like, oh, we were just I about to come out with our game. I was so shocked that it was still in early access. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. It's crazy. I was like, wait a minute, this game has been out. It's been out for a while. <laughs> I, I have seen it at, I think, every PAX I've been to. And even the first PAX I went to where it was there, I was like, I don't know if I need to see this because I've already seen it like five times. Right. Remember at PAX East last year, we saw it. And uh, they kicked like that nine-year-old girl off the... Yeah, that ruined console. her whole day. She deserved it. They're, they were like, media's here, get out of here. They didn't actually say it like that, but they were kind of like, hey, we got some people with appointments, and I was like, oh, I don't feel good about this. I felt great. Did you? You felt great yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. Get out, get the hell off my video game. <laughs> Kid. Well, I mean, let's be honest, she was probably not pressed, so I don't feel too bad about it. Yeah, you it's don't my know game. Excuse me? Sabin the Sergle. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Much uh, oh. Sabine. How does that mean? S Sabine. Oh, I see. Sabin. Yeah. S Sabine. That scientist name? Carl Sabin. He really put the field on his back. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I get it. You get it? It's Greg Jamings. Turtle, turtle jokes. It's not a turtle joke, Nick. Is it a turtle Why? joke? Why don't we ever do turtle jokes anymore? I mean, we could do turtle jokes. The, the, the Ninja Turtles. Turtle joke. What are you? What are I'm you a turtle. Are you actually? You know what? No, I'm not gonna use the teleporter. 
<laughs> I will not tolerate Master of Disguise references, though. How do you I feel about <laughs> How do you feel about Master people. of Disguise, Nick? I actually think it's an awful movie, but <laughs> all right, <laughs> that one line is pretty funny. I mean, it's like the the something wrong with his medulla oblongata got it. It's just like that's all you know about the movie because it's bad. Except the water boy is better than about the water boy than just his medulla oblongata. <laughs> I will say, I love okay. the water boy. I'm not even I'm not faking that. You I love the water boy. Really enjoy that movie. If you had to rank your favorite uh, Adam Sandler movies, how would you rank them? What's, uh, what's number one? Obviously, more? click. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, uh, Waterboy. I didn't see his football ones. His football ones. Thanks very much, Saban the Circle, for the subscription. Welcome to the Rock Quarry. I greatly appreciate the support. Thank you. Raise your rock yahas, please. No. You don't have right. to. Just the chat does. I actually can't. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah. I haven't gotten you that comp yet. Yeah. One day. Uh, I, you know, best Adam Sandler movie is definitely Airheads, and then, um... Really? Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen Airheads. Yeah, it's but been a while since Happy Gilmore seen. is, like... No, Happy Gilmore is the, the second worst. Anger what? management? Yeah. The second worst? The second Happy worst. Gilmore! Yeah. You're just... I, I hope this is Saban, the warrior, because... Ryan, you're making me so angry right now. Save it up, down, and all around. Welcome to Jay Smith Town. And then the worst Perfecta. movie is obviously uh, Punch Drunk Love. And then probably the best, if I had to choose, and there's a bounty of, of choices, is um, maybe Spanglish is up there. Kind of like that a little bit. Yeah, no, it's the best Adam Sandler movie. It has uh, Tay Leone in it. I don't think I'd go so far as to say it's the best, but I think it's definitely up there. Oh, it's the best. Are you being serious right now? <laughs> no, I'm really good at that. You gotta figure that out. Never Ryan's serious. Me. I'm not being serious. Guys, I used too many bombs, now I can't go to the black market. I don't know where the black Generative. market is. Well, I mean, we're in a different, you know. I'm in the ice caves now, I missed oh, the black market. I guess we'll it's just try Olmec. to beat Olmec then. <laughs> Old Mac run. Oh, What's even again. the point of being? We might have restart. We can still have like 40 minutes of a decent run here. Old Mac Don, old hat of arm. I think number two probably has to be like Jack and Jill. <laughs> I know you're lying. How do you know I'm lying? No, I know you're lying. You know how He's I lie? He's even seen Jack and Jill. I've seen Jack and Jill. It's locked in my basement. That's another joke from somewhere. Yeah, this is Dr. Dre. Are you sure? He's clinical. Clinically Dre. Yep. Nowadays, oh, everybody want to talk like they got TB. Well, that doesn't really rhyme. Tuberculosis. It, oh, it was oh, going to oh. be tuberculosis, yeah. Guys, I think it's finally happened that my, my luster for Spelunky has faded. No, that's yeah. been happened. You have your off days for Spelunky. Yeah, but then I got a million, and I was like, oh, the enthusiasm is oh, never that's higher. Right. And now, now it's at zero again. Everybody always gets a million and then they get three million, so you gotta do that now. I don't think everybody does that. I've done it. Most people that I talk to have done that. <laughs> I don't talk to a lot of people, but one of them has. That's true. Who? B Rex. Yeah, B Rex. How am I said hi? He always gets three million, like every time he plays a game. He always takes, takes like three eight hours. hours. But... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's worth it. In terms Is of it? like like time per dollar, I think I'm a better player than B Rex. You can tell mm. him I said that. The whole internet right. knows. Apparently no, uh, no streams will lo uh, load at all, so you know, make sure to definitely not refresh. Shit. If you're watching subscribe. this. Subscribe right now. Yeah, if, if you subscribe, it unlocks the gate that allows you to uh, it unlocks the gate. <laughs> continue to <laughs> watch Twitch streams. It may, not, may or may not be true. Yep, the symbol of the Twitch. I take no legal responsibility, and I would like to say that everything we say in the NLSS falls under parody and fair use. Legally. Including, including unfair use. the trivia. We don't actually give away things okay, well, for it. I'm That's our workaround. That. That's our workaround. I love, you know, I appreciate people <laughs> having, like, the best intentions, but as soon as I was like, well, we might, like, get our channel banned from Twitch if we do this, people were like, dude, just do it anyway, and then if something <laughs> happens, just say like you were doing it through Twitter, not through Twitch. And I was like, I am oh. just gonna go out on a limb and say that you're probably not a lawyer. Uh, 
I don't know. People just had like all this advice. They're like, oh, here's a loophole. You can totally do it. And I'm like, yeah, are you a law student? Because like, that doesn't make you a lawyer even. But it would at like, least... It doesn't even matter if they're a lawyer. If their intention is stated as such, to do anything to try and circumvent that is already a step in the wrong direction. Exactly. Mostly I was wish like... people would stop circumventing. I was mostly yeah, I like, I'm not going to endanger like part of our livelihoods to give away yeah. some copies of Cargo Commander. <laughs> Unless we can, in which case then that would be cool, but you know, Twitch has got to well, operate. Well, then you won't be endangering anything. Exactly, right? They've, they've got to operate within their scope of the law as well. i got to operate within uh -oh. the scope of the uh -oh. law. Uh oh. I lived. Well, their law is our law, and our law is their law. Mm, not really. Jude law. Why would they get their channel banned for deliberately breaking the Twitch terms of service? And it's one of the people are always like, well, it probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, but if it did, that would be like really devastating. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be really, really like a pretty substantial part of what makes me able to live. Yeah, exactly. But I think, you know, I understand why people are frustrated about it, but also it's kind of just the reality of the situation. Like that takes precedence over people being frustrated, unfortunately. Exactly. We got to make sure that we're still able to do uh, what we're doing. Josh know? doesn't know. Josh doesn't know. No, I was talking about other things. Oh. You guys. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know, neighbor. Apparently there's something wrong with the marble cheese article now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's wrong with it now? <laughs> you know, I, I would feel bad, but I read that marble cheese article today, and I gotta say, no big loss. You're gonna say it had it coming. <laughs> yep. It, it wasn't good enough to survive. Make your time. All right. Twitch is not working, but... survival of the fittest. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Twitch is not working, but you can still hang out and chat with us. Yeah. Listen to me. I'll run some Type ads. to me. Let, let's test to see if Twitch work, is working by running some ads now. Stay a while and watch ads. You could do that if you're interested. Mm. <clears throat> hey, Josh, are we ever going to play Diablo? No. <laughs> oh. I don't own it. You going to buy it for me? Um, maybe. <laughs> I'm, this, the answer is probably still no. Yeah. Shit. All right, well, if this is no, then I'm not going to buy it for you. Okay. I don't get the internet <laughs> sometimes, man. Like, why? What? What? Is, I'll explain is this to you. Soapbox night or something? Yes. I'll, ex <laughs> I'll explain to you why I don't get it. <laughs> when Diablo 3 came out, everybody got all nerd ragey about it. And I got, Ooh, yeah, I was in there. Real I money it. auction house. Ooh, the game doesn't work. That was a pretty big one. Ooh, <laughs> like it's repetitive, but it's also too easy. Ooh. And blah. And then. Ooh. And that's fine. Nerd rage, Ooh. and I don't even mean the N word there to be like super derisive, you know? It's just that it is nerd rage. It's rage over a video game. It's not the most important cause in the world, but it's important to some people more degrees than others. That's okay. But if I know one thing about internet concentrated nerd rage, is that it's there's no forgiveness allowed. Once you fuck up once, that's it. Unless, apparently, that's not true. You're Blizzard, in which case they're like, okay, well, we really fucked mm. up with Diablo 2. Sorry, Diablo 3. I know Diablo 3, Diablo 2 is sacred, um, but uh, we really fucked up Diablo 3, but we're going to try to make it better. And then everyone was like, totally into it. And I'm, that's a positive thing, but also it surprised me that so many people are like, yeah, I got burned by Diablo 3, but I'm okay, going I, in again. I lived. Do you guys want to well, I didn't that? actually pay for it originally. Uh, it wasn't my account that I was oh. playing it on when it first came out, so I haven't actually bought so it until just So that's basically recently. just like stealing. Uh, no, no, I was, uh, I had a reason to be, act, to have access to my ex's account, so it was oh, I see. not that weird. Guys, I think I'm going to stop playing Spelunky and we'll load I up died. Like Super Meat Boy or something like that. Do you want to load ah, up Super, Super Meat Boy? Meat? Ah, All right, I died. Wait, I didn't die, oh, but I died God. anyway. Do you want to try to play Super Meat Boy? No. No? No. Uh, what are you going to, what are you going to play, Josh? I don't know. Spaghetti, maybe? You play I might play NASCAR 14. All right. Wreck Cars with Danica Patrick. You play as Danica? Yeah, and then I go I go around the, the course the wrong way, and then I wreck people. <laughs> Just like in real life. It's fun. It's fun. I watched it. NASCAR. I'm just saying it's weird for me to find myself in a position where I think I'm being the unreasonable one on the internet. Don't worry about it. Because I'm like, I got, I got burned by Diablo 3, and it left such a bad taste in my mouth that I don't want to play it ever again, even if they fix it. Mm -hmm. Did you see that post on Reddit about our gaming that was like everybody talking about Microsoft before the Xbox One and then everybody afterward and it was basically shaming people that were involved in wanting to buy one now? That's weird. Wait, buying what? Why? An Xbox okay. One. 
I own an Xbox One. Why are people you buying? Be ashamed of yourself. Why are people buying an Xbox One now, though? I don't know. No, just because it exists, because it's oh. there. Well, you know that's again, internet a lot of bluster, not a whole lot of follow through a lot of the time. That's true. Boycott Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I think Ghosts was like the first one where it it kind of shifted to actually being palpable. But for yeah, every yeah, other release I've seen, it's like. Oh my god, I can't believe they're coming out with a new Call of Duty. They're not going to change anything. That's like January through to September. Mm -hmm. And then October right. comes around and people are like, Fuck, I think I'm going to buy the new Call of Duty. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's the time has come for us to buy it now. Are you ready to go? Oh, I've already begun, Nick, but... Alright, I'm starting now. Yeah. What did you get up to in that amount of time? Nick, it doesn't matter. Let's be honest. It does. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It really that level doesn't. Looks like chameleon. It it doesn't. This level looks like chameleon. No, that level looked like a chameleon. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Look like a chameleon. Like shaped like a chameleon. You're shaped like a chameleon. Uh, my butt's shaped like a chameleon. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't even really make any sense. <laughs> what do you think chameleons are shaped like, Josh? More butts. Yeah. Butts. Basically, you think they're just... just a bunch of butts walking around in the desert. It's just butts all the way down. Speaking of butts, I'm Danica Patrick with my GoDaddy car. Wow, that's like kind what? of sexist, Josh. Uh, well, it's gonna be even more sexist when I wreck all these men. I don't think no, that's sexist. No, he just meant because GoDaddy is like a really bad hosting service, so they're kind of like butts. Here they have Jean Claude Van Damme in their commercial, though. All right, that's that sexist. Helps. That's not sexist. That's his name. Oh. JCVD. Jo wow. Jesus Christ venereal disease. Exactly, Jesus Christ venereal disease. It's my diagnosis. <laughs> Prognosis is Jesus Christ! It's venereal diseases. <laughs> Prognosis is sixty-nine years to live. Hey, that's about as normal as you could ask it's for. It's probably a little bit above average, yeah. But Doctor of Nazareth, please report to the ER stat. Doctor of Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. I don't even get it, Doctor. What does that even mean? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh I think Danny Patrick might have just Ghosted? Uh, put at least four people into the hospital. Wow. Well, at least Doctor of Nazareth's on duty tonight. <laughs> the on call. Always. He's he works in the oncology unit. Wow, that's not cool. That's like it's kind of scary. Yeah. No, well. we need more people working in the oncology unit. Nick, right. I got I got the Kick wood boy ass. achievement. Congrats. I'm surprised you didn't have that already. Actually, I got it on the 360. Oh, okay. Back you know, it's really cool. What? A billion in this dollars? game, that you can you can there's like a camera mode. So after every wreck, I, t I take like a nice little instant gram picture. Really, instant mm -hmm. gram. Do you tweet it? Uh, I did last time. It was they, they last tweet it was, it was like Danica going down the back stretch at like the whole big pack of cars was really good. Use the wheel well cam. I like that one. The I hate it. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so good. What's a wheel what? well cam? It's a ca <laughs> it's exactly what it fucking sounds like. You get to stare at a goddamn <laughs> wheel. <laughs> can you see the brake rotors? Yeah, that's it. That's that is cool. it, yeah. Hard you can see the spark though, sometimes. Is it hard to drive like that? No. Well, you don't drive like that. You just watch replays like that. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good wreck, I think. It's not too impressive, but I think that's like Matt Kenseth, like flying through the air up there. He's like flying a through the uh, man or a car? Probably both. The ragdoll of his dead body flying. Yeah. Ragdoll flying in the wreckage. Aerosmith, notoriously litigious. Ragdoll, <laughs> on the NLSS. Are we gonna play Revolution X? Uh, never. When oh. Steven Tyler dies, so we don't get sued. <laughs> Does that is that how that works? Yeah. When he dies, that no one cares about his. That's property. the statute of limitations. Is the length of Steven oh. Tyler's life? You know, it's like the length of in like old school like monarchy the monarchy of like England and France like a foot was like the length of the king's foot that's actually how we still use law most people don't know the statute oh. of limitations for all crimes is just Steven Tyler's remaining lifespan which has just subscribed what to us what sculptor actually just made the statute of limitations <laughs> Nick where are you at I'm having a really great uh, Super Meat Boy run I'm having an okay one too uh, I'm on 210 right now wow. Johnny's Cage I'm on 27 and I haven't died Oh, that's really good. I've died a bunch of times. What the fuck? What? Nick, you're off the chain, man. Not yet. You're really fast. I'm furious. Have you been skipping the levels? The skipping the one, the three levels? I skipped. 
Yeah, I skipped the three levels. Oh, on well, I haven't skipped chapter. any levels, so we're basically at the same spot then. Yeah, Nick doesn't yeah. skip levels. Or Nick does yeah. skip levels. Yeah, it's, 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 it seems fair. fair, basically. Yeah, I don't like it. And he thinks, and he's like, man, I'm so much better than you guys and Meat Boy. No, he skips levels. Like, what's he can skip that? levels too, I don't mind. Did mm. you just save up and then skip no levels for like the first few? Oh, I eh. died. And then skip like 12 on the end or something like that. It's just they give, All right. give you three per chapter to knock the boss. But that would be cool if you could just skip the rapture entirely. That's what I do. Yeah. That's what Macho Man Randy Savage did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> skip the rapture. <laughs> He saved us from the rapture. <laughs> I'm sick of this menu. It sucks. What menu? I'm in like 500 menus right now. Josh the one where when you're trying to buy stuff from an NPC and you can't see what your equipment is worth, so you can compare to see what you need. Excuse that me? one. <laughs> mm. It doesn't tell you what the equipment is worth, so you can't see if it's better or worse you than what you have. You ever try to buy something from an NPC, except you can't, because you motherfuckers don't tell me that there's a freaking blacksmith in that location where there's a blacksmith? What? Why? I'm gonna be what? so happy when say? when I actually beat Dark Souls 2, so I don't have to ask you ding dongs for directions anymore. Well, you don't need you don't to ask need for directions. To now. Like, go. Yeah, well, I know how you know to do it now. I'm is. just saying that throughout the experience, it's been a frustration. How how am I supposed to possibly try to convey thoughts into imagery with something in my mind to something? The exactly. bonfires have names. Yeah, no. I don't. Yeah, and when I'm sitting like at like at my computer, not at my 360. Hey, Josh, how do I do this? Like, fuck, dude, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, just, like, open up the dictionary in your mind and look at where all the bonfire yeah. names are. Here, wow, here it comes. Okay. Uh, it's in fuck you town. Every, you just, everything's in fucking lava land. There's, like, eight lava lands. Oh, it's in poison town. The whole fucking game is poison town. Yeah. <laughs> sick of you. I'm sick I love of that. everything was something town, basically, the whole way through. I, yeah, the only one that actually made any sense was when Nick and I were on, like, the second last area last night, and you're like... Am I here? And I'm like, you'll know when you're in X Town. And he's yeah, like, oh, yeah, I'm in X -Town. in X Town. Yeah. It gave it to me a couple of times. Yeah. X Town. Did she ever get back to you, Josh? X Tina? No, she never does. Oh, that was a good crash. Good job, Danica. I think that's gonna that's gonna be a prize. You don't get a prize for crashing. It's like pretty fucked up, actually. Well, let's find out. You know what they need to make is new arcade racing games. No. Sanic Oops. and All-Stars Racing Transformed is, like, fine, but... Oh, I died. Yeah, if it had weirder characters, it would have been better. Steven Tyler's legal team has just subscribed. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. I'm glad you're not jaded yet. It's the best Aerosmith song, as we all know. Jaded yeah. Smith? Jaded. <laughs> Mila Kunis was in the music video. This car is stupid. Yeah, no kidding. Well, welcome to what the rest of America is known for ever. I don't There's no Oscar night though. track at Talladega, which I think is silly because Talladega Nights is a movie film. Yeah, it plays Ricky Bobby. That's we should just make all of our decisions based on Will Ferrell films, I guess. Which your favorite Will Ferrell film? My favorite Will Ferrell film. Mm -hmm. It could be Anchorman, yeah. It is Anchorman. It was a trick question. Old school is kind of funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, now I'm at an impasse. Yeah. Forgot about old school. I really like old school. I don't know if I'd go that far. It's, it's I really, really like old school. It's so, just kind of funny, really. Yeah, Nick's got the right idea. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> mm, I think I might like old school more than Anchorman. Wow. Jesus. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. I don't calm down. I'm Danica goddamn Patrick. <laughs> mm. Danica Patrick, but she's a ghost. Is that Scooby Doo doing Danica yeah, that was, Patrick? That was Scooby Doo. Ruh -ruh. Danica Patrick. Step Brothers, what's your guys' thoughts? I don't like it. It's not very good. I, I like it. I thought the same. I didn't like it that much. Glad we're on the same. I'm a big, huge John C. Riley fan. I love John C. Riley. I don't like John C. Riley oh, that much. Oh, you're a fucking piece of shit. Well, you only like, oh, fucking jacking it up <laughs> over Dr. Steve Brule. No, that's not true. Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Brule. That's not true. I really uh, like Magnolia, too. I don't think he's what? really a doctor. I really like Magnolia. What is that? John C. Riley's in Magnolia. I don't know what Magnolia is. It's a There's out Steel Magnolias. Outcast album from 2001. That's Stank. Who made yeah. Sweat Suit? What? That I, McDonald's I have car was on fire. Sweat suit. What does that even mean? 
That's an album. It's two parts. It's two CDs. One of them sweat. The other one. Nelly. That's Nelly. Okay. Nelly did that. He did sweat. The and greatest sweat. marketing of all time. Was it really what? the greatest marketing of all time, though? Sweat Why? and suit. Are you listening about, to sweat what about or suit? Speaker box in the love yeah, below. Yeah, speaker box love below. I don't know. It's outcast. Like sweatsuit. Uh, Nick, where are you at? Uh, I think I'm just finishing salt chapter now. Oh my god, Josh, how do you even race against this fucker? Well, you, you hey, pick Danny Patrick, one. and when the race starts, you go the wrong way. He's too good. Just go the wrong way. And then when you see him, you crash into him, and then, I don't know, probably have like a colonic irrigation. Yes, yes indeed, indeed, you better believe it. Yeah. Colonic irrigation. Yeah, colonic irrigation. Are they going to subscribe or what? I hope so. Pay you to keep oh, the lights on. Irrigation. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Is that from like NHL 99 or nobody's something? Nobody's home or... <laughs> um, northbound, the southbound freeway, look out! That's NHL 99, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's fucking weird. Some of the people in chat were probably not alive when NHL 99 came out. That's cray. No, it's I'm not. Like, Don't. We're, we're the we're the forward facing generation now. We have to act. No, I'm, I'm I'm actually going the other generation, or the other other direction. You're backwards facing. You mean backwards forward facing, facing dog? Direction. Is that a yoga pose? I don't know. Mm race replay. I think I, I think that last wreck, I think that was a good one. Damn near killed him. They should make a new burnout game is what they should do. I agree. It's called Turbo Dismount. Uh, Turbo Dismount is not burnout enough -y. Yeah, you're right. I like Turbo Dismount. It's a little shallow, though. It's just shallow. remake Burnout 3 for next-gen consoles, and I'd be happy like with that. that. Oh, yeah, next-gen consoles. More, why don't they just remake it for the PC instead? It's got all the processing power of the next doesn't. gen. Con it does, Nick. It doesn't have a mandatory connect, so it's worthless. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell people on the internet. I'm like, the connect oh, is the greatest thing that's ever happened to video gaming, but everyone's like, oh, no, oh, I'm not open minded. Think about when they're going through their, uh, the, the, what is it, the EA Jams uh, box, and you're like, EA Jams, play me the sports mix song, or whatever it is, yeah. and then it plays it, and then connects, like, okay. Just does. Do you want to fucking turn on your stereo or Winamp like a scrub? No, you just oh, tell your robot Winamp. sidekick to do it for you. I'm looking at wheel well, Cam. How's that working out good? for you? Stupid. It's useless. Danny look at all the bolts spinning around, though. Yeah, look yeah how fast like they go. five. Yeah, it kind of looks like a turtle or something doing like nope. a dance. Nope. Turtle. Nope, we're not, yeah. we're not doing the turtle joke. I'm a turtle. Nope, we're not doing the turtle joke. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it anyway. <laughs> Can't stop me in the gingerbread man. Don't, what the? What the? What the? So, what am I doing? I can't believe the, you're beating the salt factory already. He's beating it. I'm almost done with hell. Oh my god, how do you, you keep gaining time on me? <laughs> I barely die. <laughs> I barely now die. Now I'm just dying on the level that says poo at the beginning. This game's too easy, actually. You hear I should that? learn the dark world roots. You hear that, Ed McMillan? Super Meat Boy, too easy. Who's that? He's After a... Dark Souls 2, this is easy as hell. He, was he made the... Dark Souls 2? He was the video yeah. game programmer for Dark Souls 2. He also worked with uh, Christian <laughs> Stance on developing a lot of the levels in Minecraft. Oh. Especially the fourth one. Yeah. You know the one. It's the, one where it's the escort mission with like the portals, and you, it's got the turret segment where you like shoot at the, uh, the spacecraft. Mmm. You know which Gosh. one. If you didn't know, you didn't play far enough. It was like two hours in. It was pretty far. What game? Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Have you heard of it? No, what's it about? It's made by this guy named Notched. And uh, it's basically like a... It's kind of like real life. Like, you just wear like a VR headset and then you just mine. And I think maybe like it actually strips natural resources out of the earth across the world somewhere. <laughs> like Are you where, sure like, it's called Minecraft? I thought it was called Minecart. No, minecart. Minecart's a it's a Donkey Kong Country uh, kart racing, uh, but it's not kart racing. It's kart racing game. You know, minecart racing. Like, well, I thought it was minecarp, and it was like fish racing. Minecarp? No, that's a German book about a fish. Yes, oh. it's a very specific fish, quite obviously. Yeah. I really love that carp. Yeah. Here, here's a Dell Junior shot. A Dell Junior. Dell Junior. Introducing the wickedly talented. Adele Dazeem. 
Hakeem. No. <clears throat> Nick, yeah. I, I keep dying in Meat Boy. Me too. Yeah, but you die like faster than I do. No, I don't. In, in a good way. I can guarantee that I die exactly as fast as you do. Don't mm. talk to me about your... Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm jumping over missiles right now. Okay. But then I fell into the salt and died. Oh, salt, right. Yeah. All right. Why is there salt in that game? You know, they ask these questions sometimes. They say, if you were on a desert island, what five albums would you take with you, right? Sweat and suit yeah. are obviously two. <laughs> Sweatsuit, speaker box, belows. but not the love below. Yeah. And then Chris Gaines' greatest hits. Seriously, though, what three Lunchables food products would you take with you <laughs> to eat for the does rest of your like, life? Does the pizza count as, like, separate entities? What do you mean, does it count as separate entities? So, like, you get, like, the crust and then, like, the No, you don't take the freaking... What are you gonna... Uh, yeah, give me the <laughs> ham from the regular Lunchables and then the tomato <laughs> sauce package from the pizza... No, you, you get the whole box. With the Capri Sun and the little Nestle Crunch Bar and everything. So I have to pick three? I yeah. get to pick three flavors? How yeah. many flavors are there? I thought there was only three. What are you talking about? I thought there was only three as well. What? What's the third one? Like, it's the no, like, hot dog pizza and like weird hamburger. Well, hot dog pizza, weird hamburger. You're forgetting the vanilla Lunchables. What's that? The cracker the ham crackers. and cheese. Yeah, that's my favorite. I would take oh, that. Oh, yeah. Cracker that's, ham and cheese wins. It's gross that that's your favorite, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't like. Pizza's the best. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the pizza. You don't like the pizza, but you like the pizza. crackers, I mean, cheese, and... Yeah. Pizza's my jam, too. Yeah, yeah uh, pizza's the best. It's yeah, not I'm good. I'm cool with you guys that being your favorite and stuff. I mean, as long as it's got a Capri Sun, everything else really doesn't matter. I can't even... I wouldn't even want the Capri Sun. I would give it to you, Nick. Oh, well, no, nice. I would take the Capri Sun. That's More that's Capri Suns for me, then. I can't use the straw properly. Oh, wow. Well, you were... Wow. Yes, I'm ridiculously bad at using the yeah. straw. Yeah, like, exactly. Makes sense. <laughs> you're just going to get drenched in Capri Sun. No, because I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to open it for me, and then I'll drink no, it. No, X is going to get it. I was good at it. Well, someone's got to open the Capri Suns. What do you think Auto Club Speedway is? It's like a racetrack. Auto you probably I've drive around of... in a circle, if I had to guess. I never heard of Auto Club Speedway. Okay. They always go the same direction, too, which is kind of Tacos. Boring. Is there a Tacos Lunchable? Yes. There's to be. There is. Nobody's talked it? about the little hot dogs yet, the leprechaun toes. <laughs> so gross. I never heard of the hot dogs, and I'm, quite frankly, I find it a little bit scary. <laughs> I heard of calling them leprechaun toes, and it just can't handle it. I think the Schneider's brand would not be happy with my insinuation that they are leprechaun toes. <laughs> How do you just catch the leprechaun to get the toes off? You, you don't catch him, Nick. We don't live in... Like a uh, freaking society like that, you just buy them. Oh, I'll where do they mass produce leprechauns? In the freaking Ireland? vaginas of other leprechauns. And Ireland. I've never even seen a leprechaun vagina. Well, you gotta look at the potatoes. Wow, it was like the greatest <laughs> national tragedy in Irish history, Josh. Let's just make some uh, make some jokes yeah. about it. Fuck it. Wait, what happened? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. I thought it was like Idaho. No, it's not like the potato fam is a big deal, man. Why didn't they just go to Idaho though? They had potatoes, they didn't but the scumbag Idaho yet. The scumbag British were like, "Hey, you got to ship out your potatoes to us instead of like eating them for yourself because we're your colonial overlords." And they're like, "Well, seriously, That's dude." Bullshit. Exactly, right? They're like, "Seriously, it's dude, like all we have. We're freaking yeah. starving to death over here." And they're like, "Yeah, whatever." Hmm. We're going to take them. I don't like that. That's not fair. I agree. It is exactly not fair. Why do you like it then? I don't like it. I never said I liked it. That's what I heard. I heard you liked it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're slandering me. Don't don't call me a fan of the potato famine, Josh. <laughs> it's for you, it's the potato fan man. Fan wow. man. Because I'm wow. a fan of it. Fan man. Yeah. yeah. Pretty offensive, quite honestly. Sorry. Yeah, this guy in chat's real mad because he's like make fun of something that killed half my ancestors, you scumbag. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't do it. You kind of did. You're like a... You're British, sort of. I'm British, sort of. If you go back far enough. Where do you think it ends me? I don't know. Your name's Smith. That's like the most British last name of all time. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> could be what anything. If, what if I was like... What if I was like German? Yeah. 
and I had a really hard pronounced like last name in the, in the ancestor land. Like me. And the people at uh, the Ellis the, Island, Ellis Island, were like, "Fuck, I can't pronounce that. Your last name is now Smith." Well, then they you'd could be have. like three hundred years old. No, I said an ancestor land, oh. so that negates it. I thought you were when you said ancestor land. I thought you just meant Germany. No, this is like when Vikings ruled the world. Oh yeah, okay. So that that time never. When did that happen? Yeah, that, that, happened, a, that happened a lot. This was back in the, the fucking ninth <laughs> century. The whole world. You guys never saw Thor? <laughs> oh yeah, I did. There was not. Wait, a Viking I saw either. the Avengers. Was that like Thor? It needs more Thor. That's only that's only like court court Thor. <laughs> How much Thor does it need to be successful? 69%? Wow. A little bit like that, yeah. Yeah, maybe. No. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah? I'm gonna keep being yeah. okay, it's Super Meat Boy. Chad is not impressed with my skills at all, Nick, because of you. So I hope you enjoy that. Sorry. There's a theoretical chance that I could beat the game in that, like, half hour period, though, which is pretty impressive by my standards. Where are you fantastic. at? Fantastic, the game's pretty hard. I'm almost done hell. That's pretty good. I thought so. It's because I'm in the zone. As long as I have a conversation. Bum, bum, bum. Auto zone. As long as the I have a conversation, zone. then I, uh. There's no risk, Oop. you know? I missed the No key. risk, no reward. Something like that, yeah. As long as there's just some mindless bullshit to keep my brain occupied. The... I'm in 35th place. In NASCAR 2014. Yeah. So you really in. did replicate Danica Patrick's performance quite well. Yeah, this is this is pretty good for her. One time she got like a pull in the Daytona 500, and I was like really surprised by that. But then I think she like ended up crashing out of that race. The thing I don't get is that people are like, "Oh, Danica Patrick, she's like not very good. She never wins races." And I'm like, "Yeah, like there's lots of people that never win races." Yeah, like people that aren't good at the sport. I mean, they're good at it. They're professionals. How hard is right. it really just to drive in a circle? Yeah, you, yeah. well, you gotta That's... drive in a circle better than everybody else. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not about the... Someone just crashed me. I guess they're, they're better at driving in circles. It's I guess not... they drive really, really, really fast, so that might be difficult. Yeah, like driving... Yeah, you know... 200 miles an hour consistently for hours at a time would probably take its toll on you. No, yeah. I doubt it. I'm tired after like three hours of streaming fucking Damn video it. games on the internet, talking bullshit that doesn't even make any sense. Mm. I'm not saying they're like a high-powered fucking human athletes. I am. Well, Josh is, I guess. Okay. I'm a high-powered human athlete. Beat your, beat your math. Please. I'm just, I'm just saying statistically. I think Danica Snakes Patrick. Don't have parts. <laughs> Danica Patrick gets a rough, uh, <laughs> a rough uh, ride, man. Well, yeah. She's probably a professional. I mean, she she is a professional. She does it professionally. Oh, yeah. She's probably so, a professional, yeah. <laughs> you guys be so mad. As far as I recall, she does get paid to, like, do NASCAR-y stuff. Hmm. Does this, does this platform ever come back? I guess not, huh? Nah. Fuck me, then. I guess I'll just kill myself. Don't. Don't end not it. Not in real life. Oh. I didn't want to get your hopes up. You're not. Wow. That's would never. I don't think you would understand how to get my hopes up to be <laughs> perfectly frank with you. No, I'm D. D's nuts. Fox is Frank. I just be perfectly a... frank with <laughs> Frankie Munez with you. I just wrecked a whole bunch of people. That guy flipped like twice in the air. Strange. This is the mo biggest clusterfuck of a stream we've ever had. It's. Yeah. I, I can't believe it's still going on. I know, right? This one has felt like it was like 10 hours long. We got eight more minutes. I know. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to play Beat some... Super Meat Boy. Oh my god, I died again. How am I in dead last when I literally just put people in the hospital? Did they finish <laughs> in the hospital? Yeah, like, like you It's you like just... getting hit with the ball in baseball. They get to finish. I don't like it. I'm, I'm in dead last. Why is there a 44 behind me? There is no... I'm in... Oh, I'm in first place now. What? That's cool. I don't like I'm this in, part of the game. I'm in first and it's the last lap. That's what happens in NASCAR every once in a while. If you if you wreck a whole lot of people, then you just wind up in first. Shit. I don't think that's true. It didn't happen here. Yeah, but that's like a lie. This is a video game. Video games aren't real. That's true. But no, this that's one, a minecart. That's Minecraft. Minecart is the only cart in the world of Warcraft. 
Oh, I've you, seen you it. played WoW. I thought it was like a little known indie gem. Wow. What? Did, how do you even respond to that? Wow. Can you imagine if Notch just decided to make Minecart and it was just a kart racing game with all the Minecraft characters in it? Yeah. I think there's something wrong with my car. Oh yeah, my front tracks. wheel's gone. That's probably a problem. There's something wrong probably with your... still like ten million. But I think copies. I just I finished first place. Something wrong with your medulla. Oh Danica God. Patrick just won a race. How, you, there you, won, go. you actually won a race by killing everybody. Yeah, I literally just won. Take that, Danica haters. I'm a fan. I of won. Guy. There it is. Race over first. I had cheap and unlocked Chevy fan. What's that even mean? You want to race with know. a Chevrolet? Yeah. I just won. Is that supposed to be impressive or something? Mm -hmm. Josh, race at Atlanta. It's the best track. Don't tell me what to do, Dur 143. Hmm. Uh, let's view the results. And there I am. Best lap was 39 seconds. What's the matter? I don't know. Not done. What are you guys going to do for the weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? Move to a different state. Oh, yeah. That's... You always you love moving, Josh. I, I move a lot. I know. It's kind of out of control. I hate it. Well, you do it so much, I'm starting to think you don't hate it. I don't know, it's kind of nice getting new starts. Nude starts? Oh, I'll be nude, for sure. I like being nude. I'm nude right now. Really? Nah. That'd be weird. Yeah, a little strange. You could, if you did it, like, no one would know. Well, the cam's it. on. Yeah, they would, cam. they would, oh, you got the cam, oh. They would probably have a little inkling of an idea. Inkling. Just wear, like, the top quarter of a t-shirt and everything else not. I don't like being. I don't like being nude. You don't like being nude. No, I don't really like being nude. I'm big. Mm -hmm. I like being nude. There's Danica over her first, uh, like assassination. That car is on fire. Her first assassination. <laughs> okay. Fight this man. It and here's where you she think, like, the... Assassin's Creed will ever get to a point where they're, like, doing NASCAR races? No. Oh, that would be I fucking would. amazing. I would love that. I want Danica Patrick and Assassin's Creed. Brack like, man. one day you get regenerated as that. Like, you're you're a NASCAR racer. Yeah. And you have to assassinate people by killing them in NASCAR. I guarantee that's never going to happen. Why can you guarantee that? You don't know who Ubisoft picks. You ready for this? Maybe there's a real good plot reason for why that happened. Yeah, maybe yeah. there's a really good plot reason. You don't know. And you gotta explore the whole map yeah, the by going in circles. Didn't you hear that actually canceling race Assassin's Chevy, Creed? And then and then the the other guys they race dodges. Didn't you hear that Assassin's Creed four was the last one? No, that's not good. true. What? Uh there's the guy who's flipping in the air. That's gonna be a good Geico is is flying high. I'm gonna go to photo mode and get this in sepia tone, that's for sure. That's what I want. At I least want he'll save fifteen percent on his car insurance. Yeah. Could have sold Seth's uh, more if he went to the general. <laughs> he knows that. Don't talk to me about the general, Nick. This car is called the Blue Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. Let the Blue great. Deuce in the toilet this morning. <laughs> Were you well, drinking those I guess, things you I, get at the movie theater? I guess they're not allowed to have like uh, Miller Wright as a uh, sponsor, so they just call it the uh, the Blue Deuce. <laughs> Miller Wright? Yeah. You said Miller Wright there. As yeah. And right or wrong? Yeah, right. Yeah, Miller Wright. That's what I call it sometimes. Miller Rice. No, it's the Miller it's Light. San Francisco treat. But it's like light. So here's Danica. She's fucking <clears> messing <throat> shit up for everybody. So we'll get some sepia tone. Guys, I beat hell. Time to beat the rapture, I guess. I don't know how Do to it. set. Where are you at, Nick? Um, the first part of the boss, the final oh, you boss. Gotta, wow. You got to the warmth. Yeah, but you skipped like 12 levels. Yeah. yeah. It's not okay. Well, yeah, I'll go back and play 12 more levels if you want. You gotta be. Yeah. They've gotta be the first 12 levels of Dark Cotton Alley. That I don't think I can do. Wow. I could beat the forest probably four times, though. Oh, well, yeah, that's not impressive at all. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably go through the forest blindfolded soon. That's that's really scary. I should try that, actually. I should do runs where I can't look. Yeah, I mean, where else is there to go, right? Feet. I gotta do more feet. Okay, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Freaking weirdo. It rhymes. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, next next death, I'm going to end the stream. I've never been so disheartened. I uh, took a sweet picture. 
Really? What is it up? Your Does Rusty Wallace still race? No, he is a uh, he's an announcer now. Brad Keslowski is in the number two car now. <laughs> number two. The Blue Deuce. The Blue yeah, this, Deuce. Is, this is Brad Keselowski. I just wrecked him. I, I beat it. He was a former champion. He's won. Yeah. Super Feet Boy blindfolded. That's too much. Oh, is it? We'll see what you say in like two months. Okay. And here's a final lap when I actually win. Here it is. So you were you the only person left on the track? No, there is like 42 other cars. There's just a glitch in this game where if you just crash everybody, you just end up at first. That's pretty good. It's yeah, not it's a glitch, it's just the way it actually works in racing. I guess, I think so. I hope so. Blue deuce. Blue deuce. Wow, Josh is a fucking sellout. <laughs> yeah? The stream sponsored by fucking Geico. <laughs> Save 15% or more by switching to Danica. No. You know, oh yeah, I didn't die at all on the final boss, that's good. Did you get an achievement? No, there's no achievement for that. I think there is. You just gotta do it again. Just do it mm. again, Nick. I didn't even notice that I did that. Continue. Remember when we I, thought I, this I, game is hard? Um, yeah. NASCAR. A while ago. It's amazing no, it's what, like a, Daytona. what playing a lot of this game will do to you. You guys know that the first NASCAR Sprint Cup race was held in Charlotte? I didn't know that, no. Why, why do you care? You don't even live there anymore. There's... there's yeah, I'm leaving. Um, the south. I really don't want to go back up north. Why? Because I liked it down here. Really? Right. I'm going. Yeah. You can't stop me. I'm just going to tell you, like, the southern part of the United States sucks, so sorry. You've never been here. You've been to, you've been to the party in the city where the heat is on, Miami. but that's it. Miami's like the southernest part of the United States of America. Yeah, that's true. I can't say I really had any bad experiences in the south. I guess I haven't had that many experiences overall. I think it's a nice place. Nah. It's warmer. Like, it doesn't snow and shit as much. I don't want it to be warm. You, Yeah, it you is kind of cool to be in, like, in the middle of fall and just go outside for a while and not have it be cold. Yeah. Move to Vancouver. Why would I... I, I don't want to go to Canada land. Van you think all Canada is the same? Vancouver is beautiful, man. No, I'm not saying it's not beautiful, but it's just like far away from everybody. It's not far away. I would you know the way the Canadian and U.S. border is set up. There's many parts of Canada that are closer to America than other American cities. All right, so take take example where like my friends and family live that aren't on the internet. I'm not saying that you aren't my friends. Wow. Well, I, I consider you my family as well. I think we we've, we've reached that gap. <laughs> what what a nerd. Now, I think I'm it's saying, nice. I don't, I don't think I would want to leave the eastern eastern coast, the east coast of the U.S. Out, east man. coast. Yeah, it is the best coast. East coast Excuse is me? the best coast. You're why, don't east. You move, why don't you move here? XKJ23 up down to the side. Thank you for the subscription and welcome to the Lion Prague. Because the west coast is like objectively the best place to live.